So when we look at an object in the microscope, we see that circle. That's called our field of view. Okay. And yesterday, when you were looking at the graph paper, you were measuring in our microscope how wide the field of view was. So under low power, you know, this, this is a, a picture under low power. You can see all of this. This is a paramecium. This is the point during the microscope. Now, when I switch this microscope, you don't have this slide. When I switch this microscope to medium power, how much of it do I see? Less, maybe a little less than half, but I zoom in, and so what happens to my field of view? It gets smaller. It gets smaller. I can't see as wide an area. Okay, I see only a portion. Okay, so I zoom in. Again, you zoom in on the middle of the image, but you see a smaller area. And what happens when I switch to high power? I see an even smaller area. So as your magnification increases, your field of view decreases. And you should have seen that yesterday in your measurements. You should have seen under low power, you could see a certain number of micrometers. Under medium, you see less. And under high power, you see even less. OK, so just to overview. On our microscopes, our magnifications, low power is 40. Medium power is 100x. And high power is 400x. And we arrive at that by multiplying power of the eyepiece times power of the objective. It always will say right on there a number followed by x. Our eyepiece is all say 10x somewhere. And when you look at those individual objectives, they'll say 4x, 10x, 40x. If you're using a different microscope, you may have some different powers. But you always multiply eyepiece times objective power to find the total magnitude. When we talk about field of vision, we're talking about the area you see as you look through the eyepiece of the microscope. That circular area is your field of vision. And so the relationship between the two as your magnification increases, what happens to your field of view? It decreases. And the opposite is also true. If you decrease the magnification, you increase the field of vision. In math, what do you call that relationship? I don't, maybe, I don't know if you've learned it. When one, you increase one variable and the other decreases, you guys learn that? Maybe not. It's called an inverse relationship. Yeah. Oh, okay. I forgot the word, but I... Okay, so you have to learn that? So it's an inverse relationship. As you increase one variable, the other variable decreases. As you increase magnification, the other decreases. Alright, so let's look at some examples. If I'm looking at some strange creature under my microscope, okay? if I start under low power, again, what is our eyepiece power on low power? Raise your hand if you can tell me. Caitlin, the eyepiece, 10x. The low power objective on our microscopes, 4x for a total magnification of 40x. So that gives us what kind of field of view? Large. Yeah, it gives us a large field of view. We can see a wide area. If I then switch to medium power and zoom in on the strange creature. Again, what is my eyepiece power? 10x. 10x again. The medium power objective? 10x. For total magnification of? 100x. giving us a medium field of view. If I zoom in a high power on this horrible creature and get my maximum magnification under our compound microscope, what is our eyepiece power? High power objective? Total? Yes. Giving us a very small field of view. Okay? So what happens when you leash 
shower once a week. That's his? Alright. Let's go. Now when you see in the cafeteria, check it out. <laughs> Alright. Any questions about our microscopes or the information you need for tomorrow's? That's clip. pink eye, right? Yeah, conjunctivitis. So there's no about the field of views and the parts of the life. Yes. As well as the other things I've listed. <laughs> you know how we spent like five minutes going through the long list, Joni? Yeah, yeah. All right, any questions?